Hi, my name's Grace, one of the doctors at the clinic. Could I confirm your name and date of birth, please? Yes, it's Charlotte, and my date of birth is the 15th of May, 1994. Thank you. Nice to meet you, Charlotte. I understand the plan today is for a vaginal examination, is that right? Yes. Okay, so I'll explain the examination to you. Firstly, I'll press briefly on your tummy to check if there's any pain. And then I'll take a look at the outside of your genitals, so the vulva, to check for any abnormalities. I'll then move on to the internal examination. For that, I will place two fingers of one hand into the vagina to examine the vagina for any lumps or bumps. And then I'll place one hand on your tummy. I'll be able to feel your cervix, your womb and your ovaries with this examination. It might be a little uncomfortable, but it shouldn't be painful and you could ask me to stop at any point. Do you have any questions about that? No, I don't think so. Okay. We would have a female member of staff present as a chaperone, if that would be all right with you. Yeah, that's fine. Are you happy to go ahead with the examination? Yes. Okay. I'll ask a couple more questions before we start. Firstly, do you have any pain anywhere? No. Is there any chance that you could be pregnant? No. And would you like to go to the toilet and empty your bladder before we begin? No, I'm okay, thank you. In that case, I'll ask you to step behind the curtain if you'd like to undress from the waist down, including your underwear, and have a lay back on the examination couch. There's a blanket there to cover yourself with. Just let me know when you're ready and I'll come round with the chaperone. Okay. Okay. I'm ready now. Okay, I'm going to come through with the chaperone now. First, I'm going to press on your tummy. Just let me know if this is uncomfortable at any point. Okay, thank you. I'm going to examine your genitals now. So for that, please draw your ankles up to your buttocks and let your legs fall open. I'm going to sit at the foot of the bed and I'm going to use a light so that I can see better. And when you're ready, I'm going to pull the blanket back to start the examination. Okay. Are you happy for me to go ahead? Yes. Okay, first I'm going to examine the outside. I'm going to start by pressing on your groin creases to check your lymph nodes. And the same on the other side. I'm going to examine your vulva now, looking for any lumps or bumps or skin changes. Could you cough for me, please? <coughs> Thank you. Next is the internal examination. This will involve me placing two fingers inside the vagina. Are you okay for me to go ahead with this part of the examination? I'm happy for you to go ahead. Okay. I'm just going to put some lubricant on my fingers. Okay, I'm going to place my fingers into your vagina now. Remember, you can ask me to stop at any point. I'm just going to examine the walls of your vagina. And I'm going to feel in both corners of the vagina. Now I'm going to feel the surface of your cervix. I'm now going to press on your tummy with my other hand. I'm firstly going to move your cervix with my fingers. This might be uncomfortable. Let me know if it's painful. Okay. And I'm going to assess your womb. And now I'm going to assess your ovaries.
Okay, that's the end of the examination. I'm going to cover you back up. Please get dressed and come round to the other side of the curtain when you're ready. There are some wipes here if you would like them. Okay, Charlotte, so the findings of your internal examination today were normal. Do you have any other questions? No. In that case, that's the end of our consultation today. Okay, take care, Charlotte. Today, I examined Charlotte, a 28-year-old woman. Abdominal exam was unremarkable and the external genitals appeared normal. On bimanual examination, the uterus was antiverted, mobile, non-tender and of normal size and shape. There were no mappers palpable in the adnexae or the vagina, and there was no cervical motion tenderness. In summary, these findings are consistent with a normal bimanual examination. For completeness, I would arrange the following investigations. Check out the Geeky Medics collection of over 1,000 OSCE stations. You can practice with friends using our group study mode or chat with our amazing AI-powered virtual patients.